Right. Full basics. The basic unit of meaning is written, in written text is the word. Okay. So in a play or a novel, we're looking at words. In a film, it's the shot. And what we have to decide, film narrators and along with cinematographers, decide what do we put in this shot? What do we put in it, Leslie? Who do we put in it? With the what? And then how do we put those two together and where? And I want you to draw this on your page. Okay, so this is your frame. Okay, your shot, your television frame, your cinema frame. Okay. Background. Background. Middle ground. Middle ground and foreground. Background, middle ground, and foreground. Okay. Keep that close because I'm going to talk when I talk about the different types of shots just now we're going to run. So they need to decide is the background more important than the character or the character more important than the background? And then they might use shifting focus to indicate that. Okay. Or they might use a telephoto lens, right, narrow angle lens, if they want to focus on the subject. Or they might use a wide angle lens if the background is more important. Okay. And they need to decide as well where they're going to place the character in which part of the shot. In the background, in the middle ground, in the foreground. What's more important. Okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Editing. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you know how they used to edit? It was called splicing. Splicing. Do you know what splicing is? You want to hear it? Cutting. Yes, tell us, tell us, tell us. When they cut it and then they just. just they used to literally cut the film. Okay, you know the film reel, the old fashioned film reels. Okay, cut the film and hook and block it together. Okay, right. And that was how they used to edit. Because we don't need the shot, we need the shot to cut up. Right, now everything's just digital. Okay, right. Film has really evolved. 